a city known for its incredible skyline, its nightlife and beaches today centered around this venue, Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami. The ball is teed up as rain continues to fall. And here we go from Miami. Oh, he's shown some burst on this return. And he's going to be out of bounds with some outstanding field position right at midfield. On first down, they'll run. And he gets some good yardage down to the 42. It's an eight-yard pickup, and they're going to have second and two next. I'm not kidding you, Kate. A run of that length at the NFL level, honestly, is the equivalent of a run of 15-plus at the high school level. It's hard in the run game to make yards, and they just got a very successful one. Here's second and two. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. His first target doesn't lead to his first catch. And now it's third and short. As a defense, you got to see the pass. You got to time up your hit, and you got to jar that ball loose. Not a lot of offensive players are hanging on to that one through a well placed hit. Here's the give on third and short. Broke through the tackle. Give him three on that game. And that's going to give the Dolphins a first down. Okay, you know me, I can't resist. I thought we might have needed the old Gene Steratore index card down there. <laughs> Making a really close measurement to see if he got the first down or not. But in the end, well, the right call was made. He got just enough to move the chains. They send him left out of the slot. And he's going to be brought down at the 35-yard line. Well, no look on his first look of the game. So second down coming up. That's just a good play to mix up what you're doing and keep that defense guessing. The execution, that's pretty well done, too. Creating the space for a solid pickup. Second and six coming up here. Tua setting up to throw. Connection made to Beckham. And he pushes this down to the 22-yard line. 12 yards on that play and a good call nets him the first. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. A new set of downs forthcoming. It's first and ten. Off the play fake, he's going to throw. And he will score. Touchdown, Miami. The Dolphins take a 6-0 lead on their opening drive. Tyreek Hill, the touchdown. So a picture-perfect way to begin this ball game, Brock. Their opening drive ends in six. Yeah, no question about it. That's how you do it. You work all week to script out the opening drive, and it's huge when it pays off like that. That one splits the uprights. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. Sanders all set to send it away. Return starts at the nine. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Inside handoff goes to ETN. And he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29. It's a gain of three for him. That brings up second and seven. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal gain, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. ETN again. Still working past the 40. And he gets it forward to the 46-yard line. That one goes for 17 yards and moves the chains. 
That right there, that will make the coaches happy. He didn't just get the first down, but got a healthy chunk of bonus yards afterwards. New set of downs for him from the 46. They go right back to ETN. And he'll bring him down after a small gain to the 48. Two on the pickup there, and it's going to be second and eight. If there's ever a play we could call garden variety in the NFL, <laughs> I think we just saw it right there. That's an uneventful run and a pretty sound stop there defensively. And time runs out before they get the snap off. That's the end of one. 7 nothing is our score. Back to Hard Rock Stadium right after this. Back for the second quarter. It's Jaguar football. They'll begin the quarter with second and eight. They'll give this up the middle to ETN. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. It's a four-yard pickup, and they need the same now here on third down. You know, these are the kind of runs, Kate, that a balanced game plan and a balanced offense is built on. It gets you good yardage, it sets up your play action, and it keeps that defense honest. Third down from the gun. And they get there to take him down right around the 41. That one ends up a gain of six. And that's a Jaguar first down. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. A successful opening drive nearing field goal range now. It's first down at the 41. Throwing now from the gun. He's got it. Room to run. And he takes it just inside the 40, down to the 39. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Second down now, seven to go. From the 39. Brought in close to the eight. And he will score. Touchdown, Jacksonville. The Jaguars finish off their opening drive. There sure was a lot of trust on that play, Brock, and he proved worthy of it with that end result. Yeah, good old receiver. Someone who just knows how to get it into the end zone is worth his weight in gold to a QB. And on that throw, there was trust there that he had a shot to find Pater. That one right down the middle. And we're all knotted up. Jaguars ready to send this downfield and away it goes return coming from the six and he's brought down the offense will come onto the field well we've already seen some nice plays here and we're gonna see plenty more before this game ends but you might be thinking with plays like that my guys ratings should be better well you're not alone you got a chance to let the Madden ratings hotline know just what you're thinking give them a call 1-844-MADDEN-1 and make your case for who should get a boost. They'll run here on first down. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. Offense to the line for second down. Throwing off the play fake here. Short pass caught by his tight end. Pick up of a few as he heads out of bounds. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball.
try and pick this up on the ground. Musick with the first and more. 30. 10. And he runs this one in for the touchdown. The Dolphins get some late points and the lead. Raheem Mostert, the touchdown. Wow, just sensational speed from the back that time, Brock. He found a seam, got through it, and he was gone. You know, it's one thing, Kate, to have singles hitters, right? And, and you, you love those, and you appreciate guys right. that can get on base. But it's the home run hitters that are the difference makers. And what a big-time effort. Sanders all set to send it away. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And this drive will start inside the 25. Second drive coming up for the Jacksonville offense. They've got a chance to tie this up here as they trail 14-7. Drive starts out with a first and 10. Now it's Lawrence. Lays out left side and gets it. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Diving, it looks close. They see he caught it. The Jaguars are going to call their first time out. And they can take a moment to try to build more momentum after getting the first. Football on that 47 yard line, first down. Now Lawrence. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. Jags working fast here, trying to get back to the line. From just shy of midfield on second down. Escapes the pocket. He can run it. Timeout taken by the offense, they're second. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. Back to throw, here's Lawrence. Got a man, coverage lost him, complete. And he's able to get this down to the 13. A gain of 27 yards there. And that'll be good for a Jacksonville first down. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains. There wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. All right, set now, first and 10. From the red zone now. This one's caught. And he has it down to the eight-yard line on the play. Now a timeout called by the Jaguars. That's their third. And that's all they've got for what little remains of this half. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Here's Lawrence to throw. Has it in close. And he takes it down to the two, but no touchdown yet. She's out of bounds. A gain of five, Brock, and now they're going to have first and goal. I'm sure, Coach, a play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. They are throwing it again. 
And the Dolphins are there to bring him down. And that sack going to cost them some yardage. So we've reached halftime down here in Miami. The Dolphins have the lead. Now it's up north to Orlando for a look around the league. We've got Jonathan Coachman and the EA Sports Halftime Report. That's going to be taken in at the 8. Returns looking good so far. Past midfield, and he's got space. And that return heads out of bounds. Job well done. It's close to that enemy 35-yard line. Well, their attempt to attack that deficit, it's begun in earnest, like with a capital E. What an immediate sense of urgency they created by that stellar return. This drive has begun must score for this offense. I think we all felt that way. And they sure set the tone coming out of halftime with that kick return. Out of the gun, they'll give it to him inside. 16 yards on the play. And that's a Jaguar first down. Hey, even though that was an excellent run, I got to talk about the receivers here, Kate, because nine times out of ten, you see a run like that in this league, 10 plus, you know those guys on the outside are doing their job, shining as blockers, keeping those defenders away from the back. Lawrence to throw it. Complete. It's Ingram. And they get this down to the 12-yard line before being stopped. They come through with a nice gain there. Gain of 10, first down. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. They'll come up first and 10. Hands it to the receiver here in motion. Oh, look at this sweep. And this is down to the five-yard line before they can stop him. Good run, gets him seven. That brings up second and three. Well, this offense is trying to keep the defense off balance down here in the red zone. Mixing in receiver runs with everything else they love to do. And the best part is, it's working. He gets them several yards on that play. Hand off on second and short. And they'll stand him up and sit him down at the line. They'll need four to convert now after no gain on second down. Made it all look so simple, didn't he? That linebacker sorting right through the traffic, finding the runner. That's instincts come to life. Third and four coming up now. Lawrence looking to throw. Complete beyond the marker. And he will score. Touchdown, Jacksonville. The Jaguars cut into the lead coming out of halftime. So they punch it in for six, Brock, and now a conversion away from tying this game back up. This one just has the feel, doesn't it? The makings of a one-score game in the fourth quarter that could go either way. That one splits the uprights, and we're all tied up. The Jaguars ready to send this downfield, and away it goes. Here's a return from the seven. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. The Miami offense headed out there now. Their last drive contained a heavy dose of the ground game. A little old-school dominance on the way to a touchdown, Brock. Let's see if they stick with it or if they go aerial this time around. They're out and set. First and ten. play clock ran all the way down there and this is going to cost the offense man in motion wasn't set in time just couldn't get a snap away before the play clock expired the Dolphins offense ready to go as they take the field and the last time they had it they ran it down the field on them I'd expect some better resistance up front if they try that again they'll have to come up with five extra yards now after that first down flag shotgun snap they're going to throw 
Quick hitter complete. And he's going to be brought down up at the 28-yard line. Well, there's a time to be a little finessey with the football, put a little touch on, and then there's time to put your arm into it and let it eat. Throw it right through your target's chest. This one, well, that one right there was the ladder. Smart to make a fastball zing in before anyone could undercut the curl route. From the 28. He's on the move. He's going to keep it this time. They pick up 20 yards there. And it'll be first down Miami. As long as these are the results he's getting, they're going to be just fine with him calling his own number. He does such a good job of seeing the field and knowing when it's his time to take it himself. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Takes the handoff, now to throw. Bails out of the pocket quick. Took off with it again. He gets a little something out of it before sliding to a stop. I love that play. I, I mean, that's quarterback 101. Nothing downfield. Get what you can with your legs, but so much more importantly, protect yourself. Availability, one of the most important abilities for any quarterback. After three quarters, we're still neck and neck. Neither side has been able to fully separate. It's still a tie ball game. 14 points apiece as we get ready for the four. Second and six coming up here. Here's a give inside to Moster. And he takes it across midfield and into Jaguars territory. Give him two on the run. That's going to set him up with third and four. Tua setting up to throw. He finds the open man there, complete. And he nearly gets to the 25 before going out. Give him 18 yards on that play, Brock, and it gets him a first down. It was such a privilege for me to watch Marvin Harrison and Reggie Wayne in person in Indianapolis do their work. Daryl Jackson out in Seattle. They showed how great a deep out is as a chain-moving play. It's all about getting that leverage at the top of the route and then exploiting the leverage as that ball arrives on time downfield. And that play is brought to a halt, they're going to say, at the five-yard line. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets them up with first and goal. Good offenses. Okay, good play callers know how to utilize their personnel. They know where they wanted them. They wanted them in a route in space where he could make that initial play comfortably, but then go to work after it. They'll try and punch it in. And that carry only nets one on the plunge up the gut. Okay, all right. There's a little progress on first and goal. You keep it safe, you push a little closer, and now you're set up for what you want to do on second down. Second chance at six here. It's second and goal. They're running again. And he's in for the touchdown. The Dolphins take a fourth-quarter lead. Raheem Mostert the touchdown. It's what every player who scores a touchdown wants to do, Brock. He wants to get right back there and put another six on the board. I've never met an NFL player content with one end zone trip in a game. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Yeah, if you're content, you're not making it to this league. You get one, you're instantly thinking of another, and the fortunate few are able to actually deliver on it. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Sanders all set to send it away. Here's a return from the seven. And in the end, Brock, an exciting touchback as the return comes out to the 30. 
Out now runs the Jaguars offense. Still time to go, Bronk, but that touchdown has him down now seven. They've got to find the end zone here. First and ten now from the 30. Lawrence throwing here. And that's incomplete, but he might have done a little too much to cause that. Flag comes out, and this could be interference. He got too aggressive to try and stop that play, and they tag him for pass interference. Now the Jaguars getting set to go. They'll try to emphasize what worked on their last drive, which ended Brock in a touchdown. New slate of downs to approach here from the 40. Looking to throw, Lawrence. He throws a bullet deep to the right side. He's got it inside the 25. And he will score. Touchdown, Jacksonville. The Jaguars cut it to a lone point on the scoreboard. So sensational work by the skill man there, Brock. Anytime you can make your quarterback look that good, you know he appreciates it. <laughs> That's a quarterback's best friend, no question. <laughs> but on the other side, gosh, defensively, you got to get that, that skill player down. Yeah. Period, end of story. You can't give up that much yards after catch. The Jaguars ready to send this downfield, and away it goes. Here's a return from the seven. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. Offense returning to the field now for the Dolphins. And I think they'd be content doing everything the same as their prior drive and getting another touchdown here. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Back to throw, Tua. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. Quarterbacks will look for their tight end short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. Well, there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty tight end. Here's second and five. Escapes the pocket. He tucks it and takes off. It's a gain of 21 yards to pick up that first down. Obviously, a defense wants to take away all the reads and prevent any kind of big throw for the first down. Fine. Well, this QB, he'll just lower his head and gash the defense with one of the biggest runs of the game. Keeping that pace going as the clock continues to run. Throwing now. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he goes out a little short of the 40. When you see play action, do all you can to get your eyes to the tight end. Because that's their bread and butter. That play action gives him time off the line. Helps chip a rusher or even helps sell that fake. And then when he releases, he gets out. He gets some leverage. He gets to that edge before the defender can cover him. <laughs> Complete to Beckham. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. The defense calls a timeout. So that's their first. And they are quite frustrated having to call that after giving up the first. They're set up at the 35 now. to throw hits his man on the out route and they bring him down after the play reaches the 26 
Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. They'll try it right with Moster. And he has it down officially to the red zone at the 20. The defense takes its third and final timeout. And they are quite frustrated having to call that after giving up the first. All set up now for first and ten. Going right back to Moster. And he doesn't get this one very far. Down to only about the 18. Only two yards, and it brings up second and eight. go again with Mostert and he's caught behind the line for a loss perception and reality Kate the perception out there from the public is edge rushers are defined by their sacks the reality in the locker room and in the huddle is you can be defined by your relentlessness and his motor never stopped helped him track it down for a loss on the outside they motion the slot man right back to the well again and the defense gets there to force a small loss. Now the Dolphins call a timeout. It's their first. And they still have two available for them as we approach the end of this game. So final moments of regulation. They'll line up for a potential game winner. Miss a 39-yarder from the left hash. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. So it spins up as the Dolphins take the win at home. And with overtime in their back pocket, they weren't going to lose it at the end. But they still managed to set up the field goal, and he executed the game winner. What a memorable way to win it. So that'll do it for this one. With Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. The Dolphins, your winners, as we say so long from Miami.